Welcome everybody, I'm Dan's Gaming, and today we're going to check out this cool looking game I saw on Steam on the most popular list called Tainted Grail Conquest. This is apparently a deck building game. We really don't know anything about it, so we're just going to jump in. It's got good reviews on Steam. Uh, it'll be a mail. Uh, I will... I'll go with... Let's just go bald. Why not? Tattoos? Oh my. Those are intense tattoos. You can go with that one. Gear customization will unlock after tutorial. Okay. My character is... Dead. Uh, roguelike games means it's infinitely replayable. The journey will consist of short runs. Each run will be a different adventure. You will encounter different patterns of enemies, characters, and locations that we play. And the more you play, the more content you unlock. After winning or losing, you'll start over. But don't worry, certain aspects of your progression will be saved throughout all your runs. King Arthur promised us safety on these shores. Damn you, Arthur. Instead, we found stormy seas, rocks like shark teeth, and treacherous mists. Those few who manage to land will be set by hunger, cold, and nightmares born of weirdness. My people settled around a gnarled old statue. Though we did not understand its origin or purpose, the enemy seemed to avoid it. That was good enough for a time. In the end, the winds of weirdness only grew stronger, and the statue failed to protect the settlement. There was fear, despair, and then... nothingness, as reality melted around us. As reality. You're awake to nothingness. All you can sense is darkness. A dense mass of emptiness so total that even your thoughts disintegrate. Then you hear whistling. An eternity seems to pass before something materializes in the darkness with you. Something angry. Damn it, you weren't supposed to land here. <laughs> Damn it all to hell. The creature pauses for a moment, clearly weighing up some options. He taps a finger against one of his horns. Now, listen, there's a lot to do and no time to waste. What can we try? Who are you? Perfect. You can speak and yes, these are really great questions. No easy answers, though. Sorry to disappoint. Now, listen closely. Are you ready? Brace yourself, because what I'm going to tell you is rather important. You're gone. Your village is gone. Everything you've ever known is gone. Yes, everything and everyone, including your very own self, as I mentioned already, however. The creature taps two hooves together, marking a dramatic pause. There is a small chance an infinitesimally tiny chance, really, to bring it all back. You were saved from death in order to keep your reality from falling apart. But, well, it's not going to be easy. First, we must ensure that you're in good enough condition to actually do anything. Which brings us to the problematic part, your body. You squint down at your feet and hands in the darkness. They seem perfectly fine. Oh no. Oh, goodness me, no. That's just an illusion. I had to get you here somehow, didn't I? Otherwise, you'd start talking about the afterlife and whatnot. And this, my friend, is not an afterlife. This is a total mess. Well, let's see what we can do. Here, 
This little trick should get us started at least. <laughs> These two voice actors are very good. Oh. So I can only do one class right now. I can only do Word Hunter. Word Hunter's focus on dealing as much damage as possible using quick strikes or powerful blows. Every hit you deal leaves a hunter's mark. Four hunters mark makes enemies vulnerable. HP 100 base damage. Deal as much damage as possible as quickly. Faction Children of Morrigan. Well, that's cool. Well, it seems your soul isn't strong enough to be picky about its vessel yet. Don't worry, you'll grow. Now, we need to see whether my little trick actually worked. One the simple goat trick. The weaves his fingers in an intricate series of gestures. With a final flourish, he conjures a terrifying creature into the emptiness. Aha, here we go. This is a powerful Avalonian warlock. But don't worry, he's not really here. Not in the truest sense. Your goal here is simple. Fight. Show me that you've got what it takes. Apparently this has a very fun battle system, so... See what it looks like. Oh, wow. That's cool. You can rotate these cameras by holding the mouse wheel. Well, that's very cool looking. I like the music, too. I do not like the depth of field. I think that looks bad. Okay, so we have how much energy? Oh my god, this music is fantastic. So I have three energy to spend. So we'll block, attack, attack. Slay the spire like. Pick those enemies enemies intense. Hovering over them will tell you what they're doing next in their turn. Enemy will attack with two hits. One block will protect you for only one hit. Maybe you have a better card for the situation. attack for 10 this gains one block and we'll do two hits we just came vulnerable like a look at the initial pass of your skill class i seen it's crucial for survival enemy uh, uh, that doubles damage received from any source boom, boom, boom. deal three hits for uh, three to four to three to four random enemies that's actually good because we'll be on him. Now he's vulnerable. He's preparing for a special hit, so I don't have to block this turn. He's going to hit for 50. Each class has an ultimate ability. It's charged by specific action. Check how to charge it and use it more often. Word Hunter. Uh, ultimate ability deal one hit for 12 to 18 charging and flick damage. Oh, that's easy. Just deal damage. Okay, let's do small strikes. I'm going to take 50 damage and I can't do anything to stop it. That's, that sucks. Bum, 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 bum. Ow! Damn! Remember to stock up on combat items and use them often. Sometimes they'll make difference between life and death. Store HP. Um, use. There we go. Oh, they don't cost uh, a turn, too. So he's going to hit me for twice, so I need to block twice. Then attack. He is gonna buff himself so we can just attack uh oh increases base armor increased by 10 until end of combat oh no overhead swing deal one hit for three to five reducing the armor by 10 until end of combat need 
another block. Go ahead and uh, I'm gonna wait for vulnerable, then we'll use our ultimate. Okay, go ahead and reduce armor. Now he's vulnerable. Now we hit him hard. Stun him. Make sure to help our enemies to learn more about their behavior. It's absolutely crucial when we surprise in a bad way. It's gonna summon an ally. Ooh. Well, technically, freezing someone does stun them. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm going to take so much damage. Oh, God. Uh... Ow. Ow. Small strikes. Block. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, ow. He's gonna buff so we can overhead swing, overhead swing. Small strikes. Okay, he's gonna hit twice, so let's uh double block. And attack once. Ooh, he's got some sort of shield on him. Okay, he's gonna hit twice again. So I got a block. Let's go ahead and do Overhead swing. Overhead swing. Ultimate. Ow. Ow. Last tip, if you're on your uh, last tip and you're on your own, make the enemy vulnerable, play this ability card, and then hit him with the fully charged ultimate. Have fun. Okay, we need to stun him. He's about to hit me four times. Then, uh. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, you can tell they're heavily inspired by Slay the Spire. Enemy intense and everything like that. Next hit does 100% ability damage. Okay, go ahead and stun, your, stun him again. I don't want him buffing or anything. He's gonna hit four times for five damage each. Okay, block, block. Ow. Okay, I'm about to die. Bad. Block, block. Small strikes. Hit for four. Oh my god, there's no way I can win this. Stun. Okay, go ahead and. Okay, keep hitting them. Could hit me for 20. Okay, block one. Overhead. Okay, uh. Dun, 
Dun, dun, dun, dun, dun. Oh, damn, I'm gonna die. <laughs> this tutorial boss is brutal. One HP. <laughs> okay, he's gonna buff so I can... Just keep hitting him. Feet. Well, I should have seen that coming. It was optimistic of me to expect you to beat it on your first try. <laughs> but don't worry. Like I said, you'll grow. Yeah, that... send you to a very special place now. It's a mirror <laughs> of your reality, located in an endless loop between life and death. You won't die there, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. nothing's really alive there either. You'll wake up in a place it's possible resembling to beat him. your own village. You'll That's find a man hard. there whose task it is to help you on your journey. Your main objective for now will be to push onwards, survive, kill the four guardians. Then we'll talk. What happened in my world? Listen, it's been four years since humans landed on these shores. Four years of strife, fear and hunger. At least that's what you tell yourselves. The four years of war you are destined to lose because even the mightiest human wizards are no match for the Avalonians. Seeing your expression, it makes an impatient grimace, stepping from one foot to the other. The war you brought here? Well, it wasn't exactly going in your favor. But then that wizard, Merlin? Well, he had an idea. Your king, Arthur, he had another brilliant idea. Both stubborn mules, both playing with powers they didn't understand and were never meant to understand. And so we're here, in this corrupted reality, strung together with the last strand of somebody's goodwill. Well, let's go. Ooh, they have some, uh... Hearthstone card reveals. Let's see. Battlecry draws spell of its nature spell, also draw an elemental. Mage card. Draw a spell, but it's a frost spell. Summon two 1-1 one, one elementals that freeze. Priest spell. Draw a spell. If it's a holy spell, reduce its cost by two. Hmm. Sorry, they revealed some Hearthstone cards. I was like, yay! Alright, let's see. Where your hometown once was, a lone man sits among the remains. He doesn't notice you. Only when you walk right up to him, he turns his blank stare toward you. It's MMO Juggler, thank you for the 53 month resub. I'm from up and north, Mr. Dead Pixel. The land of fog. I I don't know what happened. At least that's one thing you have in common. A creature that looked like a goat told me I'd wake up in a strange place. <laughs> and that I'd find someone in need of my help there. I wouldn't say that. The man looks you. at you for a moment. I've already made some preparations and settled in one of the tents here. I can't offer you much at the moment, though. This place is different but you i've seen an enormous creature out there a column of stone the evil energy it emits is beyond anything i've ever felt i'd say getting rid of that beast would be a good start okay sounds like a quest let's go get rid of that person right now this building is an abandoned ruin however during your travels 
You might find someone who'd be willing to settle in here and help you with your quest. Ooh, this is a village you build up over time. Progression. Ooh, a lost soul. Hello. Who are you? I don't remember. And I don't know what I'm doing here or how I got here. All I know is I'm supposed to be helping you with your quest. All I know for now is that you need to find the rest of the people who are supposed to join us and help them out in their troubles. I don't know. Maybe it will come back. Maybe there's something that could trigger my memories. So this is like the hub for the card game. Healing and upgrades. Oh, so I can buy healing potions here. Ask to be healed, 50% of your maximum health, so you can rest one time. So he can heal, and I can also buy healing potions. Right now, this Okay, all those buildings are empty. Such a cool way to do this. I like it. Alright, let's go out and try to battle. Burn level. Uh, word candle is sputtered out. Wordless is everywhere and brings unexpected dangers. Press 1 to use word candle. I don't know what that means. Good. I caught you before you went out, all and you're lonesome. Our mutual friend already told you to slay the stone golem. Perfect. The golem is just a star, though. Even if you do manage to kill it, the further you go, the more dangerous the road will become. And since we're talking roads, you're walking within the weirdness now, and it's dangerous. The weirdness? Take these candles. Light them up and try not to let this damned fog close around you. Got it? Oh, and before you face the golem, look around the area. There's a blacksmith nearby who might be willing to join your village. Ooh. Finding people like him will be crucial for your survival. Upgrades. Each one will be helpful in a different way. And with that, I'm out. Good luck. So we got to find a blacksmith who can probably give us upgrades. Oh, so the candle lets us go through this unharmed? Oh, there's a probably a enemy to fight. Ooh. Okay, he's gonna hit me for five to six. We wanna block once. Small strikes. And wait for the next turn. You've got a word card. Force the word, insert them in your hand. Their effects depend on your word burn level. Use it or be ready for the consequence of not playing it on this turn. Reduce all, all armors of enemies. If not played, draw one more and increase the cost by one. Okay. So he's gonna hit me twice. So I need to block at least one. And then Broad reach one more time to set up a big turn next turn. Okay, so do a uh, broad reach one more time, and then go for the small strikes and overhead swing. Nope. Thought that would reverse that. Never mind. Now. Got him. Level two? What does that do? Pick a new card. Draw one card, it costs zero energy this turn. Block the next hit of a chosen enemy. Uh, deal one hit for 100% pit, pen for the random enemy, stun a random enemy. Reduce random enemy armor by two. That one's really great. Pick a new passive skill. Block every second hit received in a turn. First hit in combat deals double damage. Start every combat with two additional energy. Now, is that... Is that only the first turn? Is 
So start, I guess first turn. This would be very good for long-term survival. Every second hit gets blocked. So we only have to block once to block the first one. Mild millstone. It's a mystery why these stones light up and banish the weirdness when people walk by. Many believe Merlin himself invented the runes carved into them. There's also a darker rumor that they were left by the four dwellers to lure humans into their domain like moths to the flame. Ask for a blessing, lose this milestone. Boost this milestone's range. Banish wilderness around the milestone. I don't know what that means. As the flickering light of the weird that candle one. combines with the milestone's faint radiance, the surrounding darkness is pushed even further back. So unlike other games, you can go like off the path and go down different places. Pack of enemies. And a marketplace. I don't have a lot of money yet. Oh, there's the blacksmith. Okay, he's gonna hit, so I need to block once. So do these stay in your hand afterwards? Okay, so I'm gonna hit, get hit twice, so I just need to block once. But I, we'll try random attack. And try that. So the broad reach stays in your hand. Ability returns to your hand every turn. Ooh. Okay, block once. Random attack. Okay, we're gonna need to block. Buff. Okay, uh, block. Small strikes. Okay, random attack. That random attack is very strong. breaks through the slithering of the weirdness. Ooh. I have no hope, no hope, no gold. Mine is but misty morning cold. <laughs> Not long afterwards, you come upon a man wearing a blacksmith's apron. Oi, traveler. Wanna buy a good anvil? It is all I have, I'm afraid. Me home, you see, went poof. One minute there, next minute gone. I found myself here. This lump of iron for company. I swear to God, it started talking to me not long ago. Hmm. What do you craft weapons and armor? Oh, no. I left that life behind quite a while ago. All I'm interested in these days are rune stones. Oi. I already know all I need to know about them. Uh, broad range reach only increases for one hit, so using small strikes or multiple hits is a waste. Good. Okay. I'm glad to hear it. And it should be a relief for you to know that you'll find a lot of them out there. I'd say that since you know what you're looking for, you should be able to find more of them out there. By the way. You've got one cracked gar, one cracked calc. What else can you do with these runestones? 
Um, in weapon slot, increase damage by two. In armor slot, then you turn deal one hit for five damage to all enemies. Increase armor by 10. Each card play this turn, increase your damage by 5% this turn. First turn of combat, increase damage by 50%. Reduce what armor of all enemies by 10. Increase max HP. Okay. I could use someone like you in my village. You want me in your village? Well, you must first prove you can take care of yourself. Kill ten bears and... <laughs> huh, just fooling for pity's sake. What would I need ten bears for? Show me the way. <laughs> Thanks. So, where is... Uh, where is... How do we equip, like, armor? Oh, runestone. There it is. Heal for 5, pay at five HP after every combat one. That's nice. Increase damage by 2. That's nice, too. Burn candles burning out, best to use another one. Well, let's go see what these guys are. Trying to grind some XP and loot. Oh dear god. So if I block one attack, the second one gets blocked automatically. Three hits here. Random attack. Block. <laughs> okay, two attacks. Need to block one. Block every second hit received in a turn. Block, take from enemy last only one turn. Block every second hit received in a turn. Oh, it doesn't work if you receive a block? If you use a block, what? Well, that kind of sucks. So, I have to get hit once, and then it blocks the second one. Well, that's annoying. Okay, stun that guy. Block once. Small strikes. And hold off. Attack? Yes, damn. Random attack hits hard. Um, increase, it, increase damage by 10% until the end of combat. Well, that seems good. Hit one in for of damage if the enemy tends to attack, stun it. Juice. That seems very, very strong for only one mana. That seems very, very good. So if it's going to attack, I will stun it. There are old customs that protect the traveling priests of the All Mother. The one you see before you, walking through the weirdness at a brisk, confident pace, doesn't seem to realize or care that this protection is unlikely to extend here. Can I get healed? 
before you have a chance to ask her for anything. Something leaps out at the weirdness. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. The black one. Okay, crippling attack. Let's guarantee stun him, and then... Wow, that hits hard. Random attack hits like a truck. Okay, we need to... Broad reach, random attack. And then... Broad reach, random attack again. Big damage. Praise the mother. I'm glad you're here. You see confidence shining in her eyes. I want to settle this once and for all. If all mother is still with us, she will protect me. I have a very nice amount of health if right not, now. I'd rather die anyway. Now let me be on my way and you go on yours. With my blessing. What are you doing out here? Ask for healing. I'm too far away from the altar to cast spells like that. I can give you some potions or teach you a certain technique, though. It's your choice. Learn the secret spell. Get a legendary card. Charges. Create a 100% barrier for free. Okay. Two charges, though. So after two chart after two uses it goes away. That's a lot of that's a lot of block damage though. Okay, let's see. So I need to double block. Small strikes. Okay, he is about cards of different types since unlimited their availability, which will just more information. <laughs> okay, she's going to debuff me. Dex been infected with the obsolete cards. Play this card to get rid of it. Disturbance. That face, my god. Definitely blocking one attack. <laughs> okay. Rippling attack. Got her. Debuffing me again, that's fine. Um, going to broadhead and random attack. Yeah, legendary cards get removed after um, being used a number of times. Yeah, buffing that random attack and hitting is massive damage. And then it also stuns someone, so it's DC too. It's just very, very good. Hi. I see a ruined market cart by the side of the road. A man is desperately trying to arrange his wares on whichever surface of the cart is flat enough to hold them. As you approach him, he immediately announces. My lord, I'm sorry. That's all I can give you this week. Who does he take you for? You got a hundred bucks. Um, return the money, but why? Mm, you can have the money back. The man looks confused. 
but who would argue with such a turn of events? He pockets the coins quickly. Oh, I must have mistaken you for somebody else, kind sir. He looks at you intently for a while. Hopefully this is but good. since you refused to take such a hefty sum, perhaps you'd be interested in helping me out. You see, I think I might have an idea on how to double, triple, or even quadruple my earnings. All I'd need is a tiny investment. Oh, no. Oh, it's a scam artist. In the apocalypse, still. How much? I think I'd need around 5,000 coins to expand. Before you have a chance to react, he waves his hand and continues. N no, no, don't worry. It doesn't have to be paid all at once. It can be an ongoing investment, but it's going to be worth it. I promise. No. You freaking scam art. What? What is this? Some cryptocurrency stuff? It's a, it sounds like a sure thing. Oh my god. Freaking scam artist. Speaking of investments, you should invest your time in the next part of this series. In the next video.